Okay, guys, we are here in a new Outskirts remake. Basically, this map is being, um... What the f***? Alright, guys, so we got the minigun here. The mini minigun. Ah, oh, Good morning, Vietnam! Oh, no, 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 the Vietnamese sniper! Vietnamese sniper in the trees! Help! Alright guys, welcome to update 1.3.4. This is gonna be a very good update. I'm gonna say this out loud real quick. It's gonna be pretty lit, it's gonna be pretty solid, it's gonna be pretty pretty uh I don't know good. Uh, I don't know. Um so this map in the background is the new outskirts map. I will review that a bit later. Um but mainly in this update we get bullets uh that you can fire. So if I go up over here, load up the uh fifty cal, the stair M. Um, oh, by the way, fun fact, the Stair M with the ice bullets basically makes the ice gun useless. But you do have to pay $125 each round to have ice on it. Um, so you can have explosive bullets, you can have fire bullets and ice bullets. Uh, only a few guns have it at the moment. Uh, Stair M, uh, let's see, the Uzi. And I think that's it for secondaries. Um, the R700, yep, that. A the minigun, the AK-47, the Barrett, and I believe that's it, yeah. So not too many guns have it at the moment, but it is very useful. It gives you two different uh, sets of bullets uh, you can fire, but you cannot reload the custom bullets, which is um, which sucks, I guess, but that's okay. It's balancing, you know. Um, there's also a new... Minigun, mini, minigun, I reviewed this on my debug, it costs 16k, I do not have 60k, uh, I do not recommend you use it, uh, pretty much on anything, except for, uh, close range zombie maps, you know, I use it in FFA, you literally cannot hit anything that's more than 5 studs away, I've tried it in, uh, debug, uh, it's pretty useless, I don't know if PR added, uh, reloading to it, I told him to add reloading, otherwise it's completely useless, I don't know why you'd want to use it, um, just for the extra 5 damage when you can't even hit anything, so that is completely ruined, to be honest, um, unless it has reload, I do not know if it has reload, I'll check that out in a bit, um, but it also has different bullets, uh, very OP, but it costs way more. It costs $1,500 for one round of having explosive bullets. I tried that in debug uh, with very explosive results. Check that video out. I'll upload it later. Um, there's also, if you go to the flamethrower, he added napalm. Uh, that costs 1400 it increases the range and damage, I believe. Um, or decreases it? Wait, let's see. Damage is sick. So I'm assuming it increases it um, by 20 range and 6 damage but I could be wrong I will also check that out um, there's also a few new um, emotes and we're gonna check that out in the game so let's, uh, let's go into the game <sighs> update 1.3.4 uh, in this update there are new bullets you can load into guns uh, a few guns have it AK-47, Uzi, Stair M I believe R700, 50 cal, minigun, um, and some other crap, uh, I don't know. Um, in order to um, activate your bullets, uh, all guns don't have the same bullets, so uh, you press E for the AK-47, I have explosives. Uh, for the Uzi, I have fire, so I can basically just mow down a couple of these guys and they light on fire. However, you cannot reload these weapons, and um, you can reload the main ammo, but not the explosive ammo. And the uh, bullets only work in uh, survival modes, uh, but not in FFA or TDM. So I did get some footage of that in debug, though. So you might want to check that out. Video coming out later. Uh, it does not give like an explosive uh, concussion, but it does. Um, you can kill zombies behind cover. Ignatio is uh, behind cover, but I can still kill him. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Also, it's kind of OP against a brute. Brute, can you uh, just not uh, shield yourself real quick? Okay. Uh, so we're going to light the Brute on fire and then we're going to blow him up. Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty use uh, useful, but you got to mind that uh, you cannot reload this. So you got to conserve your ammo. Um, I can also light that dude on fire. Rip. Okay, I think I forgot to mention, uh, every single gun 
if you add the different types of bullets, it dip the price of the bullets depends on the gun. So if you try to buy explosive bullets for the um, minigun, it's going to be 1500 but if you do it for the stair M, it's only 175 so just keep that noted. And now I'm going to be reviewing uh, the napalm and the long, there's also a long barrel for the M16, so I'll review that, I suppose. Uh, wait, is that even a long barrel? No, it's just, it has that barrel mag. Oh, I thought it was a long barrel, like it would shoot further or something. Oh, well. Alright guys, so we got the M here. Um, we have the drum mag on it. It costs 3,500. It adds 15 extra rounds, uh, which kind of makes the M16 slightly more usable. Uh, however, it costs 3,500, so for a new user, it's probably a bit expensive. Uh, it's still a low tier weapon, so don't mistake this for a high tier weapon. Um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't increase in like damage or anything. It's still pretty much crap. Uh, only took like three different bursts to kill the uh, digger there. Um, Please don't damage me, stop damaging me. Uh, and also, the katana has a new skin, it's called the, um... Can someone give me the name? I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> Super no yeah, it's called Super Nova. It looks very similar to Miami, I'm pretty sure if two people had the same thing, except one with Super Nova and one with Miami, uh, you'd not be able to tell the difference. Um, I don't use the, uh, katana, so I don't really care. And I think that's about it, um, the... M16 is pretty, pretty gay. What the fuck? Alright, so we got the mini minigun. Uh, if you watch my debug video, you basically already know it's pretty crap. So, if I shoot like this, I've wasted half my ammo and only half the zombies are dead. So, that is one reason you should not be using this. This costs 15,000, by the way. It's just so you can get five extra damage and miss every single round. Um, is it reloadable? That is the question. Let's see. No, it's not reloadable, so it's pretty much useless. Um, basically, spend 15k to miss all your rounds. Um, it does also have explosive uh, fire. I do not have $1,500 to spend every round for explosive, so I put fire on it. Um, you can, I guess, burn people, but again, you're not going to hit them uh, very often. Um... So if we go back here, yeah, can you guys just get back in the area real quick? Yeah, just keep going back there. See how far I am? This is about, I think, 15 studs. Let's see if I can hit anything. Okay, I just ran out of ammo and I only killed like three people. So yeah, it's pretty crap, uh, to be honest here. Uh, my rating is 0 out of 10. Do not buy it unless Pierre adds reloading like I told him to. And we got the uh, napalm attachment. Um, hey... Hey, off B, uh, Jack, can you just uh, stop moving for a second? Okay, so it does extra damage and the sound is different as well as the range. It looks way... Yeah, there's way more range. This thing is actually usable, but the thing is it costs like 15k for this attachment. Uh, but the damage did go up as well, so it's pretty... It's pretty neat. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, just one-shotted essentially that um, Edgar right there. This thing is actually usable again, um, so I, you guys should uh, try and check that out. Alright, there's a bunch of zombies coming up here. Gonna have to um, mow them down with the napalm. We back in Vietnam, boys! Actually, that sounds racist. We are not in Vietnam. Do not mention Vietnam in napalm. That is very racist, guys. Uh, so we're gonna walk around this map a bit. Uh, this, is a, this is the new map outskirts. I said it would be added um, like like an update after this update, but the developers of the map uh, decided to fix it uh, before PR updated, so it got into the game. So that's very cool. Very uh, very excited about it. Um, it's a very cool map. Also, my aim is really bad today. Um, yeah, if you just want to avoid my bullets, just walking like in a zigzag and I won't be able to hit you because I'm retarded. Um, so in this map we got a Peterson Studios. This is, this is your host John Peterson coming at you live from Peterson Studios right from outskirts. Very cool. Look at this. Reason to news right here. Very awesome. Very cool. Um, welcome to live with Joe Pete. I'm your host John Peterson. How's it going bro? How's it going? So this thing's very cool. Um, the developers added it in. Peterson Studios. Hey, look, there's me. Um, so it looks pretty, pretty.
pretty solid. Uh, there's not much to uh, this map at the moment. There's only survival, uh, I believe, TDM, FFA, and um, survival. President? Yeah, probably President as well. Um, I think PRA is going to add a uh, campaign and other crap to it later, but since this map is so new, there's no campaign yet. You know how I said all the uh, copyrighted posters and things would be removed? Yep, they removed all of them. Uh, told you they'd do it. Oh, wait, look, there's a digger right there. Huh? I didn't kill him? Okay. See, the nice thing about these uh, explosive bullets, you don't even have to hit them. Uh, here, there was like a... a Pepsi, I think, or something. They removed it, added Bloxy Cola. I told you they'd do it, bro. There's not anything else's map, really. It's kind of just you gotta run around until they add um, campaign, which will be pretty cool. Um, you basically just run around and try to survive. There is a sewers back here, so if we go down here, um, there's a slight escape thing here. Okay, welcome to Ghost in the Search channel. Very cool. There's not much down here either. I don't think there's much uh, like uh, med kits and things, med boxes. There's some dynamite, so that might be a part of the game mode. There's also little hatches down, so you can escape in case of emergency. Yeah, see, there's little hatches, so if there's a brood up here, you can, you know, take a... No. You can take a emergency exit. And if you look down here, you can also see Ghost Sinister's channel. Um, if we go over here, all it there's just a bunch of escape hatches, really. Um, I gotta reload. You can get up here, uh, there's a bunch of manhole things, so you can um, escape uh, if you're stuck down there, so that is pretty cool, pretty cool. Hold on, there's a bunch of zombies at the door here, I'm gonna wall bang them real quick, there we go. See, I love these explosive bullets, because you can kill them behind cover, and uh, yeah, it's pretty OP. Uh, where did that guy go? Oh, he's still there. Nice, that was a really delayed kill, but nonetheless. There you go, laptop. See, I saved you, bro. How's it going? How's it going, bro? How's it going? There's not too much else to this map. There's a radio tower, but it's very, like, low to the ground, so a brute could, um, pretty much snipe you. That guy just got sniped, so that sucks for him. And at the spawn area... Um, let's kill this dude. At the spawn area, there's a couple of buildings here. Uh, if you go down this area here... You can go out the other side over there. Uh, can you don't? Can you don't? Oh, by the way, you can actually blow yourself up like in TF TF2 and then uh, have you fly, but it takes a lot of HP. Um, there's nothing else over here. There's just buildings. Also, uh, if you go into these buildings here, let me use my real ammo real quick. Uh, if you shoot these glasses out, you can uh, jump through the uh, different buildings. So that's uh, very useful if you're getting cornered in here in FFA or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is pretty much Outskirts. Uh, very excited to play it. Very cool map. Um, I guess get up all my ammo here. There's a brute right there. About to get ganged. 